It's a rainy Tuesday morning in the fabulous Florida Keys. I'm Gary McAdams with the EXP Realty. We're probably going to have rainy, windy mornings for the next three or four days with Hurricane Milton approaching. For those of you watching the news up north, don't pay any attention to it if you're looking at the Florida Keys. We are not going to get hit. We're going to have some rain. We're going to have some wind. We're going to have some stormy weather. A lot of the businesses will close down just for insurance reasons. Their insurance companies are pressuring them. But the Florida Keys are going to be okay. We usually are. I've lived in the Keys for 33 years. And in 33 years, I have only left for a hurricane one time. My understanding is the Tampa area is going to get hit pretty hard. If you're in Tampa, definitely make sure you take cover, board up your home, be prepared. And if you're up north and you have family or friends or loved ones in the Tampa area, definitely check in on them. But if you want to know about the keys, just watch this video every morning. I always report what it's doing and I go outside in my yard before I do the video. So that way I'm reporting to you what's really happening on the ground in Key West. I stand in my yard for five or 10 minutes and just feel the weather out. This is my morning market MLS update video I do every day right about this same time. I report all the new listings in Key West and the lower keys that have come on the market in the last 24 hours. If you follow this video every day, you will be ahead of most buyers. You'll know about all the new listings from Big Pine Key down to Key West the same day the realtors know about them. It's very valuable information for a buyer to have. I find most buyers wait for home to come on to Realtor.com or Trulia or Zillow or one of those many websites to put the listings out. And a problem they face a lot of times there is by the time some of those sites put a home live online, it's been on the multiple listing service a couple days. All the good deals are already under contract. If you watch this video and you see something you like, call me right away. I'll make an appointment for us to go see it that same day. I'll show a house this week with Milton on its way. We're just going to get a little wet. It'll be raining. If you're not here locally in the Keys, I'll go do a walkthrough video with you. We can do a FaceTime call or a live chat video. Or I think WhatsApp has a live chat video option. I've never used it, though. I don't use WhatsApp. Facebook has a live chat option. There's plenty of ways we can get you to see the house, and if you like what you see, we can write up an offer and have you under contract on the home long before most buyers ever even knew it was available for sale. You can also get a much more detailed description of these listings, including photographs, if you follow my blog, keywestinvesting.com. There's a lot more information on the homes and the blog, a lot more details any unique features the home might have, things like projected room uses, room dimensions, photos of the inside of the home, photos of the outside of the home. If the home happens to be waterfront, it happens to have a pool, there'll be photos of the water view, photos of the boat dockage, photos of the pool. It's just a lot more information than I can cram into a couple minute quick YouTube video. Again, that web address is keywestinvesting.com. And it's updated every day, including photographs from the Florida Keys multiple listing service. If you like this video and you want to stay current with what's being listed in the Florida Keys every day and see more videos like it, please click that thumbs up like symbol down below. But then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a video just like this every morning and then you can know about all the new listings that come out every day. Today we have three homes new on the market to talk about. Before I give you the information on the homes, the state of Florida's legal department butts in and makes me cover the boring stuff. The information I'm about to give you comes directly from the Florida Keys multiple listing service. I'm not accepting any responsibility for any of these listings. I'm not claiming any of these listings to be my own listings. And I'm not accepting any responsibility if there's any inaccuracies in the information I give you. I'm simply reading it to you right from the Florida Keys Multiple Listing Service. The first one we have is a townhouse in the Casa Marina neighborhood in Key West. There's very few townhouses over this. This is kind of a rare property. Most of the homes in the Casa Marina area are single family homes, much larger homes. The lots of land in the Casa Marina are much larger. It's a very upscale, very sought after subdivision. It's an easy walk to Higgs Beach, which is one of the more quiet private beaches in Key West. We kind of keep that one hidden from the tourists. 
The locals like to keep a few stuff to ourselves, and Higgs Beach is one of them. You can walk downtown if you want from the Castle Marina area. It's an easy walk or a simple bicycle ride. You've got a few great restaurants right there. You've got Salute on the beach. You're literally sitting right on the beach looking out at the ocean. You have Louie's Backyard, the place Jimmy Buffett made famous. My personal opinion is Louie's is an overrated, overpriced tourist trap. They're living off the reputation they earned 25 years ago, but that's just my opinion. We all have different tastes in restaurants. The Casa Marina Resort, which the Casa Marina area is named after, has a very nice fine dining restaurant. And then if you want casual beachfront, they have a pool bar that serves food right at the bar at the pool as well on the beach. So you have a lot of dining options, great location. This is a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom, 1,876 square foot townhouse on Washington Street. It's being offered at $1,800,000, which is extremely low for any property anywhere in the Casa Marina area. Most of the houses there go on the very low end from the mid two millions up well over six million. That's a very you know, upscale, sought after, expensive neighborhood. Then we go to Stock Island on 7th Ave. Stock Island is one island outside of Key West. It's very popular amongst the locals in the workforce because it's a little bit more affordable than Key West and it's still a you know, five to 10 minute drive to downtown right to Duval Street, depending on what time of day you go. If you have the school traffic or the rush hour traffic or if you go outside of the traffic time, you'll be down there in five minutes. This one's a four-bedroom, three-bathroom, 1,731-square-foot house. My opinion is definitely priced on the very high side. It's listed at $925,000. I personally think that's a little overpriced, but that's just my opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. Stock Island is definitely an up-and-coming area. If you thought you were going to be in the home for you know, 10, 15, 20 years, Stock Island is the place to put your money. But right now, today, I just don't think Stock Island justifies $925,000 in that particular section. Then we go to Big Pine Key in a subdivision called Doctor's Arm. I actually lived in Doctor's Arm for about six years when I first moved to the Keys back in 1991. I lived on Cora Way, which is right in the open water overlooking Bogey Channel out at No Name Key. I used to walk to the No Name Pub, order my pizza, and walk home. This one's a three bedroom, one bathroom, 1,080 square foot canal front house on Malaga Lane. The boating in Doctor's Arm is very good. You have deep water boating. You could easily get a you know, 30-ish foot center console, a T-top boat in there with no problem. And that's bigger than most of us who live in the Keys have. We like the smaller boats so we can go out to the back country and the beautiful waters and the shallow waters. Dr. Zahm, however, is an easy shot out. If you want to go offshore, just go under the No Name Key Bridge, under the Spanish Main Bridge, and you're right out into the open Atlantic, heading out to Lou Key Reef, or heading out offshore to do a day of offshore fishing. Then if you want to go to the backcountry for a day of island hopping, just beach the boat on a sandbar and have a floating barbecue, or visit some of our beautiful islands out there that are uninhabited, they're government-owned, there's great, nice, sandy beaches. Also, the flats fishing in the Florida Keys backcountry is amazing. The top and fishing, the permit fishing, the bone fishing. And Doctor's Arm is located in a place where it's very easy to get to either the offshore or to the backcountry. My two concerns with this house is it being a one bathroom. I'd like to see another bathroom, or very minimum another half bath. I'd like to see another full bath. But you could probably do that pretty easy. Monroe County is not that difficult about the building permits if you want to add a bathroom on. They know that the days of the one bathroom houses died out in the days of the Brady Bunch and the stay-at-home mom and the housewife. Also, this one is a ground level house. So if you do decide you're interested in this house, definitely get an insurance quote during your due diligence inspection period. The flood insurance can be a little high on the ground level homes. Dr. Zahm, luckily, is pretty high and dry. I lived there during Hurricane George's, which brought a lot of water and tidal search into the Keys, and we had very little water, and I was right directly on the open water. I walked out my back door and went 10 feet, and my feet were in the open water. Definitely, you'd want to get an insurance quote on that. 
However, it's being offered at $670,000 and any house on the canal in a subdivision as nice as Dr. Zahm at that price is a great buy. Definitely jump on this one, tie it up first, get it under contract, then research the insurance while you're still in your due diligence inspection period. Don't let this one pass you by or someone else grab it before you. That's all we have for today. If you want to take a look at either of these homes or any home anywhere in the Florida Keys, give me a call at 305-731-0501. And don't forget to check out my blog, keywestinvesting.com. I'm Gary McAdams with eXp Realty.